small children in the air. Yeah, you're laughing, but there's usually one. <laughs> Memorize that feeling. <laughs> All right, we're going to do this just one last and final time. Thousands of people will come rushing over here to see the show, and then we can go someplace and have a good time. <laughs> so, my lords and ladies, one last and final time, hands in the applause position. Come on. Come on. I can wear this silly suit. You can do this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, my lord. Come on. I could embarrass you individually. There we go. <laughs> Now, my lords and ladies, so that you will applaud even louder than you did before. Oh, jeez. They tell me horn size doesn't matter. <laughs> my lords and ladies, when I blow this horn, go completely out of your mind. Short trip for a lot of you. <laughs> My lords and ladies, welcome to the Oops Juggling Comedy and Knife Throwing Show. Can I? I am Giacomo the Jester. Jester will throw knives around a live target. Yeah. 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 I sense your disappointment. <laughs> well, you know, my lords and ladies, we did used to have a real duck. His name was Luigi. He was a very beautiful and a very well-trained duck. I don't know what happened, but for some reason or another, this morning I found him missing. <laughs> it was very sad. So today, using... <laughs> so today, using this fake duck, we will reenact that famous feat of William Tell. William Tell. He shot an arrow. Threw an apple. Placed upon the head of his only beloved son. Was that a dysfunctional family or what? <laughs> so, using this fake dove, we will reenact that famous feat. All right, fellow. Set the dove. Setting the dove. All right, Paolo, set the apple. Setting the apple. <laughs> oh, that is truly sad. Paolo, I think we should use a smaller piece of fruit. I have a cherry. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> this side, explain it to that side. <laughs> I will practice against the other target. And now, my lords and ladies, reenacting that famous feat of William Tell. Juggling prowess. Woo! Yeah. You're already impressed.
To see, I'm the best manipulator. Tee hee hee, I say. I'll take those balls away and juggle them with grace and style. It's say. talent that you lack, so I will steal them back and leave these folks with laughter and a smile. At juggling, I'm, I'm the best. best. I'm the best. And when Northeast and West, and there is no great jerk. <laughs> expression on her face she would have preferred a bird's eye view of our juggling so i thought this last right over here would like a bird's eye view of our juggling still coming right over here perfect yes leave that crap behind you there we go hi Giacomo! 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 Why? What are you doing? I was hoping it was sport play. It's so silly. <laughs> All right, come on, Bob, wait. We gotta do this stupid show. Yeah, come on, come on. Right over here. Stand right over here. Fantastic face, everyone. There you go. Uh, what be your name, lady? Julia! Yay! Now, Lady Julia, what's gonna take place is thus. Paolo and myself, we are going to have the juggling of these six razor sharp juggling clubs around you. Yeah. So, Julia, don't at any time move forward because the club will be going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh in front of your face. And don't back up because the club will be going whacka, whacka, whacka behind your head. And, Julia, no matter what happens, no matter how crazy this audience gets, no matter how much they yell, cheer, or applaud, don't bow. <laughs> All right, Julia, stand up very straight. Hands at your sides. Six clubs past four and a half of your bodily passing. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> oh. Yeah. You have so lowered your expectations. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Ooh. Now, my lady, are there any <laughs> sins at this time you might care to confess? No? Uh, are there any sins at this time you might care to commit? <laughs> like hitting the gesture. All right, here you go. Stand up straight. Don't move any part of your bodily person that you care to keep. Thought we were kidding, eh? Woo! One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and she. <laughs> All right, Julia, have a seat right over there. All right, now, Julia, because you have, in fact, survived this test, that means you get to participate in what we call the assistance revenge. <laughs> That's right, Severus, the assistance revenge. Yes, Julia, that means that you get to pick anyone. Absolutely anyone. From <laughs> <laughs> our entire audience, to also experience the joys of bravery. Who would you like to pick? Good choice. Let's go, Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you. I'm not you. Sorry. I, I figure you can find your way by this time. All right. It's going to be great. It's going to be grand. Now, my lord, do keep in mind you have been chosen. That means that if you get hurt, it's Julia's fault. <laughs> All right. It's going to be great. 
You don't seem real happy about this. I'm thrilled. He's I'm thrilled. thrilled. No, I know. Yeah, I know what it is. You don't really want to stand there and have a soap clubs around you, do you? Sounds wonderful. This is exactly what I paid twenty dollars for. <laughs> well, you should have paid more. <laughs> Twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like three dollars and thirty cents a night. Right. What a bargain! That's a bargain. Right. Twenty dollars, one life. Right. How much would you pay? Uh, well, don't, don't answer now. And if you order before midnight tonight, my lord, what is your name? Ben. All right, Sparky, stand up. <laughs> Very right, your name, Ben. No. Oh, Dan, I'm sorry, Dan, yes. Yeah, yeah. In five minutes, it won't really matter much, will it? <laughs> uh, Dan, is that what it was? Dan? Dan, Dan. Really, it doesn't bloody matter, does it? <laughs> All right, Dan, stand up straight. Hands by your side. <laughs> Don't become aroused for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> the $20 you paid at the least of your worries. <laughs> Exactly how much that would be of the $20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, all right. Wait. It's getting very, very humid in here, Dan. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No skin off of my nose. One, two, three, one, two, three, and. <laughs> well, Giacomo, Den has passed the bravery test. Yes, but he has flunked the intelligence test. <laughs> and he wants a refund. <laughs> but Den, you're not alone. Because now I, Giacomo the Jester, will stand up against that target for my good friend Paolo to throw knives around me. Is this something you want to see? Yes! Oh, can't you just feel the love? All right. All right. Dan, I just want you to know one thing. I paid thousands of dollars for a humanities degree, and I look at where I am now. <laughs> Good thing I went to All right, here we go. I got you. Wait, but before I risk life and limb. Pardon me. For nothing more than your cheap amusement. I must ask them the sweetness of a fair maiden's hand against my lips. Ah, my lady, thy hand. <laughs> you know, I could die here. <laughs> Must be friends. <laughs> Liberal art degree, well uh -huh. worth it now. Yes. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> you should have spent more money on your own education. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, how spontaneous of you. Wow. Give it up. Give it up. Yes, if you actually had the Tennessee Renaissance Festival, you'd be having no fun now. But no, you're at this man's house watching this stupid iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you came up with that all on your own. <laughs> Um...
Giacomo. Si. You're leaning. I'm from Pisa. <laughs> <laughs> if you got that joke, thank a teacher. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Miss Devotion. <laughs> now, lords and ladies, I will need complete silence See. while the last knife strikes the target. See. Oh. <laughs> Hello. The wooden thing. Really? Really. Oh, that's not what I've been aiming for. <laughs>
Hey, hey, Giacomo, you don't have any more knives that roll at me. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> party? Is, is there going to be cake? <laughs> no, but there will be shish kebab. <laughs> He's got a huge knife. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Not a good time to distract me. Now, my lords and ladies, I would like to say a few things at this point. One, children do not try knife throwing at home. Oh, no. Although, hell, that's where we learned it. <laughs> also, my lords and ladies, should Paolo survive this, we will be passing our hat at the end of the show for contributions and donations. Have you had a grand time thus far at the knife throwing show? Yeah. delightful crowd so far do keep in mind three things one this is in fact how we make our living two fives and tens are awesome and three we do throw knives <laughs> Thank you.